Yeah, I mean, being champion feels really awesome. I mean, uh, I've been working for this MX2 championship for a really long time, and uh, I mean, to pull it off this year, I was really pumped. I mean, the last three years, I've I've had some pretty bad injuries. I mean, t- t- two of them were my ACL and my knee. So, I mean, uh, to win this MX2 title, I mean, it's awesome for me. I mean, next year, I'm stepping up to the MX1 class, and I mean, this was going to be my last year in MX2 anyway, if I won or I lost. So, I'm just really happy that I won this title. Yeah, maybe I might come over and do some nationals, but I mean, my goal is to first focus on the MX1 championship. I want to be MX1 world champion, and then, and then the following after that, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. I mean, uh, America or Europe, it's it's pretty much open. So uh, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the Nations was, I mean, it was good. I think the organizers did a really good job on the track. I mean, the track was really, really nice and really fun to ride also. So I think on the organizing side, they did a really good job. I mean, fr- from my side, I think I had a lot of bad luck. I mean, uh, especially in the second motor when I got that green netting in my wheel. I mean, uh, I was really looking forward to racing Ryan there. I mean, I knew he was going to be the guy to beat. And uh, I mean, when I got that green netting in my wheel, I wasn't even going to try ride because, I mean, I had a lot of, I had no back brakes and uh, I had a lot of, netting in there so I mean the the back wheel was hardly even turning so I came into the piss decided to get it taken out and then uh, I was already a lap down and decided just to sit behind Ryan and and just ride with him. The first five laps I mean uh, that's what that's what I mean that's what really cost me the race I mean getting that green net green netting in my wheel and uh, I mean after that I rode with Ryan the whole motor for 20 minutes and I mean I felt good and we're setting a pretty fast pace in the front so I mean uh, if I didn't have any bad luck I'm I'm sure I would have been able to race with him. Well, I think uh, in the MX1 class, there's a lot of guys that, that can win GPs. I mean, uh, I think this year there were about nine or ten different winners. I mean, that's almost every round there was a different winner. So, I mean, uh, but I think next year the main guy is probably going to be maybe Caroli or, and Philippots. I mean, Philippots is the reigning MX1 champion, so for sure he's going to be good. But, I mean, uh, yeah, like I said, I've been testing the MX1 bike and I'm feeling really good on it and I'm fast. And, uh, yeah, I'm just looking forward to getting out there next year and, and racing that bike.